Welcome to the Total Review Channel, and for today's video, we are taking a look at the Klein Tools D203-8NCR. Now, this is a 8-inch pair of needle nose pliers that features a crimper and a wire stripper. Now, these are a uh, fairly decent, uh, I would say a fairly decent tool. You can see they have the nice yellow dipped uh, handles on them as well. Now, if you didn't want the just the standard dipped handles and you wanted more of their comfort grip style handles, you can get these with the journeyman style handles and they are that thicker uh, material and they are yellow and black uh, as well. And now coming up to the business end of the tool, you have your crimper right there. And coming up to the front of the tool, you have the Klein Tools name, logo, and then you have your model number. And like most Klein pliers, uh, they are made in the USA as well. And then coming to the cutting edge, as you can see, it is a little bit smaller of a cutting edge, and that is because it has a wire stripper right there. Now this is for stripping 12 gauge uh, wire. And then your nose does slim down, so if you needed to work in a box and or something of that nature, you need to get into a small little corner, this nose is going to help you achieve that. And then taking a look at the front of the nose, you can see the teeth are on an angle, uh, which is nice. And the tool isn't, uh, it isn't really loose. Uh, in feature, like some of the Canapex pliers and stuff like that, you go like that and the tool opens. So these definitely are going to require a little bit of a break-in process. But as you see right here, this is about as far open as the tool will go. And then the tool will close as well. And then coming to the backside, it's fairly simple on the backside. Nothing crazy. You just see the cutout right here in the backside of your crimper. And the you can see the backside of your stripping hole uh, right there. But now I guess we should get to the stripping feature on this plier as well. Uh, so we're going to first start off with some solid wire, some 12 gauge solid wire right here. And we're going to see how well we can uh, strip that. And I'm sure I'm going to catch some flack for this in the comments. But when I use these, I kind of like to twist the tool ar around the wire and pull it off. And as you see right there, we are able to strip that wire. And if you needed to, maybe you needed to, uh, you're working with some... 12-2 Romex and maybe you're hooking up some outlets or something like that and you needed to make some loops you can use those pliers to do just so and you don't really mar up the surface and if you do mar up the surface you can always uh, cut whatever part of it you marred up off uh, if you needed to and you should have a clean loop right there now like I said the one the one downside about these uh, is if you're trying to cut multiple conductors at once you're going to run into a problem with that stripping hole right there but other than that cuts through that 12 gauge stranded wire without an issue now we're going to bring or excuse me that solid wire now I'm going to bring in some 12 gauge stranded wire and see if we can have the same results um see if we can strip this wire as well I uh, definitely not going to be using uh, um the, the nose on this to um bend the plier or bend the wire but you can definitely strip some 12 gauge stranded wire with these as well so maybe if you're working with both kinds of conductors solid and stranded uh both 12 gauge um you could definitely use these to strip them and i don't believe uh, i damaged the conductor at all so that is a plus right there and the feature on there the cutting jaws on there work fairly well uh and then the crimper the, these crimpers work fairly decent as long as you line the uh, terminal up on them um, without an issue so I'm gonna go ahead and bring a little bit larger of a conductor and I've got some 10 gauge wire right here some 10 strand of wire right here or maybe I'm not gonna bring that large uh, bit of wire and I actually have a little smaller piece right here and we'll go ahead and see how well this crimper works now one thing I actually like to do uh, when I'm crimping terminals is I kind of like to insert the terminal into um, the player and then put the wire in there and then you get a little bit of an adjustment uh, and then you just go ahead and crimp down on it so go ahead and do that for that uh, this 10 gauge stranded wire and that is the end result and that terminal as far as I can tell isn't going to come off of there anytime soon uh, does a decent job of crushing the uh, inside of that terminal onto the wire so overall definitely a nice uh, addition to have uh, to your tool bag, especially if you're working with a lot of 12 gauge wire, maybe you're um, roughing in a lot of houses and you're working with a lot of Romex wire and you, you just go on, you're at the stage now where you can go and start hooking up all your outlets and switches and stuff like that. And you maybe want to use this pair of pliers to do so, not just standard wire stripper. Uh, maybe that's for you. Uh, these will definitely be able to get that job done. And they're not really, you know, uh, relatively that overpriced. Now, you, like I said before, you can get them with the um 
the journeyman style handles and those are actually I, I've found a lot easier to get than these uh, because the journeyman style ones they sell at pretty much every Home Depot uh, will have them in the electrical section uh, so if you want to pick these up or maybe if you're looking to buy a pair of needle nose pliers and if you go to low or if you go to Home Depot just make sure it's the standard pair or unless you want to buy this pair because that's originally how I picked these up and I thought they were just a standard pair of uh, eight inch needle nose pair of pliers I didn't realize that they had the crimper and the um, stripper on them uh, until I, <laughs> I picked the tool up and Lo and behold, was I wrong. Uh, but I am kind of glad that I picked the tool up. It's definitely an interesting tool, and it definitely works well. I don't really have any complaints about it. Uh, it's definitely a, a different tool, and it definitely seems to work well, as you guys saw here. Um, so with that being said, that's about it for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you want to see some more tool reviews like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button. But that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.